Now, once upon a time, all you wanted a car for was to get you from A to B. And then you wanted them to go faster. And then you wanted them to go off road. And now it seems you want them to look as if they can go off road without even actually doing it. And that means the SUV vehicle or the sports utility vehicle, an off-road rugged look, but with a performance that's best suited to the road. This is the latest SUV to hit the UK market. It's the Lexus RX 300. And before I give it a drive, I best find my trainers. The American version of this vehicle has been available for about two years now and is the best-selling Lexus and the best-selling SUV in the whole of the USA. It's now available in Europe with revised suspension and braking to cope with our more demanding driving conditions. And it can be yours for between 28 to 32,000 pounds, depending on which model you go for. Now the first thing you notice when you get in this car is the noise. Take a listen to this. Absolutely nothing. That's fantastic, especially for a big vehicle like this. It lets you know that it's wearing that Lexus badge for a reason. Another thing that Lexus are renowned for is offering a high level of spec for standard. This is the SE model and let's take a look at what it's got. It's got these lovely eight point adjustable leather electric seats. We've got alloy wheels, air conditioning, automatic transmission. We've got cruise control. We like the satellite navigation system, although that is an extra. We've got a six stack CD player. We've got a whole host of gadgetry under that bonnet to keep you going in a straight line. Now, for some of you, it will be a disappointment that this is only available in a V6. It certainly hasn't got as much grunt as the Cherokee's V8, but it's very smooth. And on the school run, it'll give you better fuel economy. First of the on-road capabilities, it is so smooth and in terms of body roll it is the best SUV vehicle I've ever driven. I also prefer this higher driving position to the rivals, the Volvo Cross Country and the Audi All-Roader. Makes me feel more important. And now for the off-road bit. Well, the scenery around here is really pretty rugged, but as for the road that Lexus actually want us to drive on, well, you're more likely to see Clint Eastwood and the Magnificent Seven than any serious off-road action. enjoyed driving the Lexus RX 300 even if we didn't go proper off-roading and I reckon that it's going to give the Mercedes M-Class and the Jeep Cherokee a really good run for the money and now from me here in lovely sunny Spain there's only one thing left to do go look for my trainers I never did find them you know <laughs>